In this video, we're going to calculate the margin of error, and we're going to do it by using this formula given here, which is equal to 2 times, and I should say that this 2 right here is connected to the normal distribution, and uh, that would be referencing the 95% of the data was if within two standard deviations of the mean. So that 2, again, is connected to the 95% of the data that is under that curve of the normal distribution. Now you might see instead of this two, 1.96 occasionally, but to make things easier, we're just gonna stick with the two. We're gonna also then put a bunch of stuff underneath this radical, which starts with p hat, and that represents the sample proportion. And in this case, for p hat, we have 295 people that said, yeah, they've definitely de uh, deleted social media accounts before in the past. So that's 295. We divide that by the total number of people that were surveyed, which was 500. And then if you turn that into a decimal, that's going to be 0 0.59. So that means basically 59% of the people surveyed here said that they, they have indeed uh, deleted social media accounts. Now we just plug that into the formula, which is going to be 0 0.59 up here on top in the numerator, in parentheses 1 minus p hat, which is 0 0.59, close parentheses, and we divide that by n, which is the sample size, and how many people were surveyed? It was 500, so that goes there in the denominator. And all of this stuff underneath the radical stays underneath the radical when you calculate. It. Make sure it stays under it so you get your right answer. And then if I plug this into the calculator, I'm going to get about 0 0.043. 3991 and it keeps on going. So I'm going to round this to uh, three decimal spots. So that's going to be to the nearest thousandth. So I'm going to keep 0 0.04, that 9 turns that 3 into a 4, and this is going to be the margin of error right here. Now, what is the margin of error? That's just the range of uncertainties. Uncertainty. So we're, we're assuming, you know, based on our, our situation here, that 59% of the people have deleted social media accounts. Well, how close are you? That would be within 0 0.044, or you could turn that into a percentage, which would be 4.4%. Now, if you want to take that to step, the next step further and figure out what that range would be, uh, we could say, all right, well, the sample proportion was 59%, and our margin of error uh, right here, when we had 0.044, that's going to be connected to 4.4%. We could say uh, we'll take our 59% and subtract 4.4%. That would give us our lower amount, and we'd also take 59% and add the 4.4%, and that would give her our upper amount. So if we're subtracting, we'd be left with 54.6%, and if we're adding, that would be 63.4%. So that range or our confidence interval would be 54.6% to 63.4%. And we would say that, uh, you know, for our sample, we had 59% of the people say that they deleted social media accounts, but we would expect, uh, or we'd be 95% confident that the true population proportion would fall between 54.6% and 63.4%.